there, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and today I have a 2002 Prevo XL2 Liberty Coach. This is an XL2 Prevo Coach that has been converted by Liberty Coach and I think if you're looking for a bus in this price range, this is going to be one of the most easy to fall in love coaches you, you'll be able to find. So first of all, this is a single slide floor plan and in 2002, it had uh, Liberty Coach was doing some super cool stuff on the interior, as you will see. And this particular coach has been serviced by East Tennessee Luxury Coach, and it has, uh, it has received a few upgrades and updates along the way. It only has 77,000 miles, which is halfway to being broken in on the Detroit Series 60. So we started on this side of the bus because I think it looks absolutely beautiful with no slides breaking it up. It's just a bullet. I have the airbags dumped. The Alco aluminum wheels look perfect with the stainless steel, but there's just nothing like an XL bus. Um, everything is so dense and heavy to operate. Everything feels very well built and uh, feels like a proper bus. And something Liberty Coach does is uh, give, us, give us these beautiful painted uh, arches over the wheel wells. They look absolutely beautiful and um, because this coach has bus air, you can see we have a, a grill right here. So this entire compartment is full of bus air components and this is an excellent system to have. It allows you to heat and cool the entire coach just running your engine. Now there's a lot of interesting things out in the bays here, a lot of things that allow you to uh, enjoy being out, staying wherever you are at. For instance, we have an entertainment bay here, an outdoor small griddle, a refrigerator, an outside wash bay where we have a little sink area actually. Well, it's not a sink, but we have an outside shower and it's on the right side of the coach. But these are things we'll get into uh, more in detail later. Right now, I wanna highlight a couple things. So this has a Zip D manual awning, which was put in by East Tennessee Luxury Co. So that's not the original one. Um, the original was potentially an uh, electric slash pneumatic Zip-D, which are notoriously unreliable, so the manual is the way to go. And the paint colors are just absolu absolutely terrific. Um, I think it's a, uh, Liberty Coach knows how to do their dark, deep reds. Let me just put it that way. And it rolls so well with that stainless steel. I just love these grills back here too in the stainless steel. It's just, it's really hard not to fall in love with an XL bus, okay? I'm just gonna put it that way. Now on the back, I love this generation of Liberty Coach tail lights for the XL buses. They're very rectangular, they're very square. We have a Liberty Coach plaque, but the biggest thing I love is it really makes the bottom of the coach and the rear of the coach um, leave a taste of square in your mouth, and I like that because it's round towards the top, but being square makes it look more dense, it looks heavier, um, it looks more like a bus. Now we have these gorgeous stainless steel exhaust tips. You'll notice three of them, the large and flat one, is, a, is for your Detroit Series 60, and the two on the left are for your generator as well as your Wabasto hydronic heating system. Now one thing before we move on, come back over here. So this right here, this little piece is where you can uh, dump your black tank or your tank using the macerator pump. So it'll grind it up and you can use like a hose. So if you need to, you can dump using that. Might prove to be very convenient at some point in time. I love these caps. So all of the center caps are intact. All of the lug nut caps are intact. And that does go a long way with the look of a bus. You'll notice how on each side we have these huge lights. So there's four on each side. And uh, right now they're the original bulbs, which are good enough. They do light it up, but it's having this stainless steel fixture all around the coach is very, very nice. If you update it to LED, I've seen some that absolutely light up the spot. So this is a nice feature to have that Liberty Coach uh, puts in a lot of their buses. And another thing that's nice about these lights is uh, the buttons and the way the, uh, the way Liberty Coach has laid out how to operate them is extremely convenient. Now here is our single slide here. 
Notice how the, uh, the slide out topper is an acrylic zip D again. So that will actually extend and become a awning. And it's just, the piece up here, it kind of looks like a spaceship. It's, it's very, it, it just looks very slick. And um, I, I can't put my finger on it. The, the combination of looking slick and looking like a dense bus and just streamlined like, a, like an old, uh, you know, like an old silver sides airplane or something. But up here, all the glass is all blacked out. So it just looks like one piece floating up there. You don't see any support bars. It looks really slick, especially with the slide closed. And this slide out just looks like a, a piece has come straight out the wall. There's no seams um, around it to, to distort the look of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, all the glass looks like it goes and curves and all the way up and around a little bit. Gives it a, a really nice look. The front, Liberty Coach affects it slightly. We have a stainless steel grill here that they put in, but it's actually in excellent condition. Not really that many flaws. There's a little chip right here, but overall in pretty good shape. You see the buttons where you can snap in your covers. Let's go ahead and check out the interior of the bus. And later on, we're gonna talk about the compartments, the roof, and then we're even gonna get on a test drive. So let's get right into it. This is a, a stunt. This is a stunning coach. It has a lot to offer. So to unlock it, there is a code which we're not going to show you. Um, but if you decide to purchase the coach, we will give it to you. It's pretty convenient. You can leave your keys in the bus all the time. You know, you go to the beach, you just walk out. It's simple. A lot of new coaches have it, and we have it here. Very reliable. So to lock it, right two buttons. It's already locked, and that locks all the bays too, by the way. And then you enter your code, and it unlocks. You point away. There it is. Hey, now that mine showed you everything outside, check out this beautiful, timeless piece. Liberty does awesome job. Look at this Travoli light on top. Seems like every single bulb is burning. It's been replaced or been updated. Just gorgeous interior. Nobody does like Liberty does. All these wood pieces just really complete this interior. So uh, both sofas open up and they become bed. So you can have some tall person sleep here, maybe two, depends if they're skinny. This one may be shorter person and you got two in the back, so about four. Four person can sleep. We have uh, updated beautiful hardwood floors here. Uh, no more carpet. I just, I can't get over it. Isn't this beautiful coach? I mean, look at all the window treatments and by the way you have a crestron control that can open and shut all your window blinds all that stuff come around the center part where you have a booth dinette by the way there is an extension we can add extension you could put a couple of person here and add more hey i want to talk about this coach 510 i've got a paperwork going from 2006 all the way to 2021 or 2020 actually and we had a little thing done in 2021 lots of lots of maintenance records here uh, see this god it's so beautiful you know and if you see a little stain in the video or not that will come free of cost it is a 2002 but look at this uh hand laid tile beautiful tile work just gorgeous so we have a Trask Compactor, let me show you, there's an island that'll come out here. I'm gonna push a button right here from Crastron Control in the middle. Let me go main door, uh, main menu, here we go, galley, cabinet slide. Come on out. That's how a little extension comes out. You still have a drawers here and some uh, storage here that you can access from that area. So this is a this is just a little showpiece, okay, right here. Lots of counter counter space. That is your trash compactor. Some storage under here, under the big sink. Got a lot of storage, storage everywhere. Nice wine glass. Oh, there we go. Open them this side. And your microwave, guess what? It's hidden. So there's a lot, of, a lot of places are hidden because of seamless design. You can't even tell that it's there. So we'll just go back in here, bring it out. 
By the way, this one has a bus here. I think mine mentioned. We got a double burner electric stove. Gaga now. Got a little coffee maker here. And I think over here we have a little canned goods can go here. This should be your free, uh, freezer. It's a Sub-Zero. You can turn it off and on. So you got some behind me. I'll show you. That should be more pantry. Some paperwork here. We've got paperwork everywhere under the bed lift. There's another freezer on the bottom. So we've got two freezers here. And over here, we've got a washer and dryer. So we've got a freezer, washer, dryer. It's a Bosch washer and dryer stack. Center part right here, we've got two inverter controllers up here. This is your Liberty Crestron, so you can go back to main menu. Audio video, you can control your living room TV, all that stuff from right here. You got lights, shades, power management, climate, air conditioner, doors, driving, sanitary, you could see all that. But you also have a sensor tank right here. A really nice, it's got alarm, so you know if your fresh water tank gets to 10%, alarm would go off. Uh, if your holding tank gets to 90%, it'll, it'll go off. This is really nice. You got uh, cruise air, air conditions, uh, control boards here, all the circuit breakers so you can manage. Right now we're using 25 amps on a one leg and about a 14, 13, 9. So, you know, we're using around 39, 40 amps. So you got a 50 amp, you got to manage both legs. You know, that's one thing that comes territorial if you're going to use uh, Prevo buses. It's really nice. You got to get in tune with them. If not, uh, it, it'll be a slight learning curve. Let me back back here and I'm going to show you there's a button. Oh, thank you. Here's a Sub-Zero refrigerator. Lots of room in the door. And we got some more freezer on the bottom. Two of them. And there was a washer dryer there. Here you have a little hamper for your laundry. Shoe thing they have put on. Some additional drawers and pretty deep right here. Bottom one comes out. Look at this nice uh, wood and kind of suede, suede leather. Here's your toilet area. Really nice. We've got a fantastic fan up on top. Electric toilet. Hey, even have a phone in there. And we've got some cabinet room. Cabinet space here. Some medicine cabinet there. We've got some more cabinet below it. Uh, I love this backsplash and all that. Over here, we've got it locked right now. Let me go ahead and open that up. Let me turn a shower light on. Shower lights. Is it on? Yep. So we've got a nice couple of bulbs up there and a shower. Look at that same tile has been laid down in the kitchen in this center part of the coach bathroom area. Same tiles on the on the wall, thermostat, so you can use your temperature, you know, 75, 80, I like it, 110. <laughs> That's about the hottest it can get. Just really nice. And it also had a little soap cubby on this wall. So really nice. And you know, this Coach XL, they're really tall. So, and seven feet person can fit in here, maybe six, nine. Um, come around here, we got another outside sink. So you have a his and her sink. This mirror has a little crack, could be changed. I just want to show you. I specialize in showing some, you know, flaws. Uh, some storage under there. Coming in the bedroom, we got this hardwood floors here. And uh, hey, this side has easy room to get in and out. We've got some cabinets behind it. I'm in deep storage there. And I got some rod on top to hang your clothes. It's at least, I would say, 18 inch deep. Over here, we've got our Bose surround sound and a DVD player that hooks up to your Samsung LCD TV. I think I have that light off. Ceiling is absolutely gorgeous. I think I was in some kind of royal train, like a Taj Mahal on the wheels. Look at this. That's, those are the little things, you know, Liberty does. That it's uncomparable. Yes, so there is a Crastron, and let's show them that. There is a remote you can add. I think there's a remote that is not working right now, but there are two places you saw in the middle. I can go here and go on the shades. I can go in a bedroom. And it says shut all. 
So I'm gonna say all bedroom. I'll just hit the one button and they all coming down. There are one, two, three, four, so you can also do it individually, but I said all bedrooms and they all coming down. So we've got some four, what do you call, cabinets right there, like a, I don't know, they just pop open. Some cabinet space, you got a little nightstand there with the plug-in for your, you know, Air, iPhone, Android charger. Same thing here. This side, I think the nightstand is a little bigger than that. And this is where you've got crash drawn. You got your bedroom. And I tell you, this is so nice. Whoever is sleeping here, you can control it just by touching your hand. You don't have to go fiddle around with a man. I was. This is just right here. You can you can change all your thermostat, heat, and AC. All that works here. All right, so um, that side is pretty good too, right? You can come in and out. We've got a little, nice little vanity here and some drawers. Drawers here and a smart TV here. This will conclude our interior video of this 2002 Liberty Elegant Lady. Um, let's talk about the cockpit area and get on the road. Maybe we'll let mine come back in. So now with the slide in, look at here, easy to go in and out. That's a great thing about a one slide coach. Some people call us, they want a Prevo with no slide. I like the one slide, gives you additional room, but one slide is in, it's still easy. I mean, I'm talking about if you're about four or five inches wider than me, you can still go in and out, easy, all right? So lots of room. All right, let's take a peek at the storage bays real quick. And I'm gonna turn on all the exterior lights, which are called cargo lights, um, so if you're if you're new to a Liberty, you might be very confused, but Liberty owners know this button very well. It, it blasts the exterior with light. There is, I think, four on each side, and then there's two on the back, and then there's additional docking lights uh, as well. Now, here is one of the most satisfying sounds you'll hear. There's a button right here that unlocks all the bays, and they're like these stainless, I think they're stainless, but they're a metal um, pin lock so they just slide in and stop the handle from unlocking the door it's very simple um, but it works great it's very reliable and here it is very satisfying to operate every time so the bays down on the passenger side of the bus are uh they house a lot of interesting components now in the first one right here up above we have a storage tray. So you've got three drawers that all are finished out with carpet and they have this piece that snaps in two locations, has two little stainless steel grab bars and makes it look pretty when it's up. There's a little chip right there. Can we open each door? Yeah, you can open each door. You actually have the front pieces that snap on and cover and shade the front windows from the outside of the bus right here. These are empty. Comes with a free welcome mat. And then this one's just an empty drawer. Now this entire tray slides out. So you've got a nice stainless steel grab bar here. And it's all covered in a thick carpet. So it is a pass-through storage bay, but you have two trays. So another tray will slide out on the other side of the bus. And this is a nice uh, snap-on toolbox. And it's actually on a tray, so when you have this uh, compartment closed, you can just get your toolbox out um, and not have to get the entire tray out. So that's actually a really nice piece. You have a nice stainless steel little latch that keeps it from sliding out. So I was avoiding. Yep. Now this is a really nice little toolbox. And uh, it's embracing the fact that you're gonna need a toolbox to own a bus. <laughs> now, to the left here we have our entertainment bay and uh, that includes a refrigerator. And you can turn this on and off via a breaker inside of the coach, it's a little lap. So as you can see, it's cold. It's actually freezing on that little metal piece, but it is cold in there. Now here we have a, uh, yeah, this is pretty sweet, a Gen Air. So this is a unique tray as, you know, it's it comes off. way out and uh, this works too. So this is a pretty nice little cooktop. You got a flat top up here, kind of works like a griddle. 
So you have a small griddle, um, essentially, and it's on a slide out drawer. So you just slide it out with ease. Now you have a TV right here and uh, the interior TVs have been updated, but this one hasn't been. I'm sure it works, but you could th chuck that thing in five seconds and get a nice updated TV. You've got a, a stereo system out here. So auxiliary speakers with a head unit. We have storage drawers on the left of this compartment. Again, all finished from this thick, dense carpeting. This is for the Gen Air. So nice storage bay. I like the little pieces of stainless that Liberty Coach throws in there as well. It feels nice and uh, reserved, not in your face, especially with this dark gray paneling that has been chosen. And I think that that works quite well because stainless steel really doesn't need anything bright around it to make it stand out. Now here you have your water tank and you've got a nice outside shower. Beautiful little piece. You can cut it off at the top. Yeah, you have, uh, it's on the passenger side, the, the side that really they should always uh, put an outside shower. Now this opens up revealing a Mach 5 Headhunter water pump. This is a, uh, a high output water pump, not anything to be compared with most 12 volts that you see on most RVs. Now right behind that you'll have a, uh, a 20 gallon Raritan marine water heater. So you can get unlimited hot water from your Wabasto system, which is the hydronic diesel fired heating system. But you can also get hot water from that 20 gallon Raritan, which is super nice if you're plugged into power. You can check your water tank. Thank you. Yep, these are, uh, these are components. And, and by the way, I'm glad you pointed that out because I forgot, you can dump the coach from both sides. So you've got a dump right there. You just push a button. So you can turn your water tank fill on. You've got starboard dump and uh, you can fresh dump. You've got a fresh water tank dump too. Um, so if you just want to dump your fresh tank and get new fresh water in there, you can. And uh, you can dump from both sides of the coach. They have a little light here. And uh, Liberty Coach puts uh, four lights on each side of the coach. So back here is where our uh, power cord reel is. Now you can plug in via some auxiliary ports if you want. But there's a power cord reel. So you can open this up and pull this little tab. And in fact, you know what, let's go, let's take it back. Let's take it back. I'm going to keep that closed right there. So how you'd operate this is unscrew this, uh, this right here. And it has a 50 amp power cord that's literally slides straight out of the little port. <laughs> so that is what you do to get your 50 amp power cable out and it's very easy to use. Now you can completely open this compartment if you'd like. Honestly, you know, the later Liberty coaches deleted this and you had to open the compartment, which I found to be quite annoying. This is, uh, this is pretty nice, but you can open it up if you'd like and you can see where you have a bin and a very long 50 amp cable. So here's the other side of our pass through storage compartment. And as you can see, we have another slide out tray here that goes about halfway through and you have a stainless steel little tab we also have a fire extinguisher in here. On the left here, we have two Zip-D Liberty Coach fold-out chairs, and there's two more on the other side of the coach as well. So here we have two heart interface um, inverters here, and these are all these fuses here on the left are uh, enclosed in a little piece of plastic that's easily removed, and everything is very well labeled out, so you can track down a fuse very quickly. We also have main breakers for 12 volt, uh, the 24 volt and our two inverters. So you can cut everything off there. Um, and on the right, we have our, uh, our watchdog. So this communicates with the, uh, the remote control so you can start the generator from the touchscreen. So I think this is where you can let your buddy have power from your generator. Um, and then you know, right here, you've got a little place where you can put your cord out. I believe that is what that's for. If it's not on this port, it's one of the other ports. It's got multiple 50 amp power ports around the coach. Um, some of them are for plugging yourself in. I believe this is for giving your buddy power from your generator. Now on the right, we have some bus air components here. On the, you see the little uh, reservoir tank or expansion tank for our generator is right there. And this bay here, 
that what it says? Okay, 922 hours on the generator. Yeah, that's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. So right here is one of the access points to our, uh, our fuel tank, and this has a 200, right around 200 gallon fuel tank. You can fill it from both sides of the bus, and uh, you can actually open this compartment, this little tab. So this is where you'll see bus air components. Um, you know, this is a very powerful system, about 120,000 BTUs of cooling power and 150,000 BTUs of heating power. So it's made to heat the whole bus. It's a Prevo bus um, component. It's not from Liberty Coach, and it's an excellent system. Now this right here is a component for your slide out. That's the main motor right there, which are uh, supposedly extremely reliable from Prevo. Again, the slide outs on Liberty Coaches are made by Prevo bus and not by Liberty Coach. So they are uh, very high quality slide outs. Now here is our generator bay and our plumbing bay. So uh, first let's start off with, uh, this is kind of the, the crown jewel of the, of the bays. So we have polished copper here and Liberty Coach use half inch thick walled polished copper out in the bays and throughout the coach. Um, it's not polished you know, throughout the coach, but out here it is. It's absolutely beautiful. These are all pneumatic valves, and this one is actually a, uh, a gray water bypass. So you can press a button from inside the coach and have your gray water just bypass and dump out on the ground, which can be extremely convenient. This is a very nice feature, and it's just pneumatic. You push a button from inside, and you use auxiliary air pressure to dump the coach. You also have buttons out here, so you can dump it from out here. Um, you can, of course, connect to your city water pressure. We have a, a pressure gauge built into the city water inlet, so you already, you'll, you'll know exactly what pressure is coming in the coach. And on the left here, this huge stainless piece that covers our generator. So the generator on this coach actually slides out, so it's on a huge tray, and it sits on four airbags. So right back here, we have our Detroit Series 60. Um, this is a legendary engine, really doesn't need that much of, a, of an introduction, but I guess I'll explain some of the things that I know. We have our turbocharger here on the left. Our intake is here on the right. We have our, or our oil reservoir right here, so you can put oil in here, and then you turn this valve, and you can top off your oil with, very, with ease. Um, so you just store oil up there, and if you need to top off at some point on the road, you just open the valve and it goes right down in it, into the engine. It's very easy. This you can use to reduce tension on your belt. So there are, multi, there are a couple airbags down in here um, that act as tensioners. So this allows you to easily change out your belts on the road. You can just get rid of the tension real quick. We've got our cooling fan on, here, on the side here, and uh, this is a hydraulic operated system. So very important to the cooling of the, of the coach, of course. Our turbocharger is located right there, of course. Yep, yep, side rated. This piece right here, Liberty Coach puts in this piece. Um, it's a stainless steel cover, and it does look pretty nice. You know, I, I like being able to see my belts, but, um, you know, you open it up, and it looks, it looks like the rest of the coach back here, and I, do, I can't appreciate that. The engine itself looks pretty clean, actually. Um, looks very clean. I mean, only 77,000 miles. That's not even broken in yet. Yeah, it's kind of cool. These doors lock. So you see this? You can be back here and it's not going to just slam on you. All right, let's go for a test drive. So the cockpit is pretty straightforward in the Liberty Coach. It's centered around, um, and this is a Prevo basically cockpit, but Liberty Coach has their touch on it. We have uh, shade controls, of course, which is fabulous. You can cut off the, the sun if it's blinding you. Headlights, all that basic stuff, your visors. You've got a fast idle button right here. You've got your transmission retarder button right here. So how the transmission retarder works is if this is off, it will not engage ever. If this is on, um, it will engage when you come off the throttle or you turn cruise control off and you pull this down. It won't engage if it's in that position. However, if that's on and this is up and you start hitting the brakes, 
it will automatically apply. So if you're in an emergency situation, you're slamming on the brakes and you forget to pull this lever, it's fine, it does it automatically. Now we have our cruise control over here, set, resume, straightforward. Um, this is our air leveling system and just our the control over the airbag system in general. So right now it's in road, which is in the middle. Auto is auto leveling and then manual allows you to manually level the coach. We have our slide out control here. Um, again, it's a pneumatic uh, Prevo slide. So that's why the control is right there. Your ultimate horn, so 100 different tunes, tag dump, emergency brake with a protector over it so you can't in, uh, you know, step on it and accidentally engage it. And uh, yeah, you've got some extra lights. You've got your Prevo stalk right here and just a steering wheel, no buttons on it. I love the fact that there's no buttons on it. Keep them away from my steering wheel. We have a window over there that's electric on the passenger side door. And uh, I love how they put in these little extra li Liberty coach where they get somebody to make them these beautiful gauges. So we have a, an extra coolant temp gauge, volts coming off the alternator and the batteries, um, another beautiful uh, 24 volt gauge, just beautiful gauges right here that uh, kind of remind me of, uh, you know, like an airplane gauge or something. It looks beautiful. But that is about it. We do have a Federal Signal Corporation uh, unit over here, a PA. So you can talk over this microphone right here. It's got a PA system. You can also play a siren and it's actually pretty realistic. I, I'm timid to play it. We have a fire station very close by. It sounds like a fire truck or a police officer. You can talk over it. It's pretty cool actually. And uh, of course we have a CB down here too. So Liberty Coach always and this, especially in this era, tricked it out with that kind of stuff. We have um, spotlight right here and control for our bus air and dash air right here as well. We also have an updated backup, backup camera and a nice new radio head unit here. So this is just around town speeds here. And um, the coach is absolutely butter. The front end is liquid smooth. It's uh, quite terrific. This is a Prevo bus, that's for sure. They are dripping with their own character, with how they feel, how the turbo noise sound, the Detroit Series 60 is just sort of a unique and special engine. And um, when you're looking down the side in those mirrors, you see the stainless steel sides, you operate your transmission retarder, you feel how dense the whole coach is and just how rigid it is. It's one of the greatest driving machines you can buy. And uh, this is a great, a great, excellent example of one. 77,000 miles is like nowhere and the transmission feels absolutely butter smooth. Look at it handle this corner like a dream. <laughs> it's a terrific coach. I mean, you can just sit here and handle it like it's nothing. So this thing handles like absolute butter. It's a XL coach, so slightly lower center of gravity than the H345s. And uh, you know, it is noticeable, especially on these older Prevo buses. And uh, even the newer Prevo buses, you can notice the H3s are a little more top heavy. Series 60, the turbo noise is second to none. It sounds like music is being played in the back of the coach. and. Um, as far as vibrations go, you really don't get that many vibrations at all through the chassis. That's one of the coolest things about driving a Prevo bus. I remember the first time I ever drove a Prevo bus, I was shocked about how I was revving. Like I, I couldn't feel how much I was revving. Um, I had to look at the gauge. So right now, bus feels very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and set cruise control. So let's see how the chassis sets. The front end feels good. Yeah, you could do many miles in this coach and it's not gonna beat you up. It's very, very comfortable to sit here in this chair and just enjoy the driving of driving experience. You know, all it wants to do is be calm and just float in the center of the lane. That's all it wants to do. It's a very cool character, but it's an excellent driving bus and like I said, the front end feels excellent. You can just get around these corners and just set the steering there. You don't have to budge. It's an absolute dream.
It's it's very it's very enjoyable to drive this coach. Put my transmission retarder on. Just the way the whole front end feels. It feels so. It it rides like a a huge massive air ride chassis BMW 7 Series. It floats yet it's dense and solid and connected to the road. It's an all around great driving bus and it's what you'd expect from an all stainless steel chassis that Prevo delivers. And the structural rigidity is astounding and how subtle the vibrations are from the engine is pretty impressive and it's why you buy a Prevo bus. That and these are meant to last a very long time. Now the roof is in excellent shape. We've had it in multiple rain and mild rainstorms that have certainly tested the seals out with the slide in and with the slide out. And with the cruise airs, you don't have air, rooftop air conditioners taking up that space, which gives you a whole lot more room for solar if you wanted to add that down the road. All around, this is a solid coach. We've spent a good bit of time with it and we'd not only be able to get you familiar with the coach and able to use this in your best interests, but convey the idea of how well it's been taken care of. It's not just the service history that we know of. We know where the bus has been. And on top of that, we've thoroughly checked the coach before it came into our possession and during. It's a stunning Liberty coach, yes. But the main part and the most important factor is that it's been taken care of and looked after. That doesn't mean the coach is perfect, but it will certainly deliver you an optimal Liberty coach experience and you will enjoy it for many years to come. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to reach out via text or call, and we will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have for us. We're open to taking trades if you have that and working out other arrangements. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. One, 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 one. Hey, get out of the way. This is the Liberty Coach, and all the converters can just get out of the way because Liberty Coach, and it's next out.